Hi guys, my name is Jen from iCreate Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my new X Tool machine that I just purchased. I absolutely love it. I've done a few things with it already, but today is going to be a big project. I'm actually going to be cutting, or actually lasering, I should say, on a piece of wood like this. Um, unfortunately, I lost my uncle a little while ago, and I'm going to make a memorial for him for my aunt, and I'm really excited to use the X Tool to pretty much engrave in this. Over here I have a CNC machine. I don't actually want to cut it out, I just want to have it lasered on. So this is going to be a new thing to me, and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. My husband's behind the camera right now, he's going to help me out to kind of show me how to do this because he's been doing a few. But I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Just a piece of wood. If you follow my channel, I do a lot of um, projects on wood. I'm going to be doing more on the CNC machine and also the X tool in case you're interested. So hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And let's get started on this project. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up the software program that came with Xtool, and it's called LaserBox. There's a basic version and a more advanced version. So, Jen, you said you wanted these words, which are a lot of words. Yeah, there's a lot of words in there. To be um, engraved on into this, this board. piece of wood. Yeah. So, the first thing we need to do is figure out the size, and everything in LaserBox is in millimeters, and you're making this very tricky because we're not using a <laughs> rectangle. So let's just see, this is 180 millimeters, 18 centimeters, 180 millimeters just about, I'm going kind of on the inside. So 180 by 240. So let's insert an oval that is that size. So I just did an oval randomly and then over here I can select 180 by 240. So that looks roughly the same as that, right? Pretty close. This isn't a perfect oval, but that should get us close so that the letters are within it, I hope. Again, we're not experts at this. You're learning with us, so let's see. So now we have to put the words in. This is going to be the really fun part. So we got all of the text into LaserBox Basic. This is just a basic programming. I think if we use the more advanced one, we'd be able to center it better. We had to manually center this. So now we're going to try to engrave it. So we need to connect to X tool. So I'm going to turn this on. And then up here in the upper right, laser box. And then over here, see now this I just cut, but I don't think we're going to do it. That was just for guidance. I'm going to delete that, I think. Now I'm going to click start. But before it starts, there's this really cool framing tool. Okay, so now we're in the framing part and there's this little dot and you could put it for example, in the center of your workpiece, or you can put it like where you want the first word. So I'm going to try that, and that's where you start the laser, and then it's going to kind of tell you where it is. So now show the laser. I'm controlling the laser, and I'm putting it where I think the first word is going to be. See what that looks like. Right there. Right there. It's going to be real close. Should we just try it? And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We flip it back over. Yep, we're going to try it, guys. Okay, We've now never the most important this. part is, Jen, yeah, you got to have your goggles on. You cannot look at this laser. It oh, will mess your eyes up. Okay. So here's what it looks like when we finish it. Um, not really too bad for the first try. We did go over a little bit, but like my husband said, it's not a square and it's not a perfect oval either. It's just a piece of wood um, that was cut. So it turned out really good for the first time. It is on here. It is not going to rub off. It's not going to come off at all. And I'm going to finish it up by just putting a little hanger on the back. And then I'm going to give it to her. Um, to my aunt for a gift for a celebration of life. But I really love how this turned out. I'm going to have so much fun with this X tool. I can't believe, I cannot wait for the uh, possibilities to do this. Plus, like I said, we have the Bob CNC machine too. So we're going to be doing a lot of that too. Also working with the Cricut machine. I want to show you guys this is what it looked like. I really, really like this. So if you're interested in looking at uh, something like this, it's called an X tool. I will leave a link in the description below in case you're interested in one of these. But I highly recommend it. I had a lot of fun with this, and my husband was helping me with it, so I have a lot of learning to go yet, but this was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to give this to her.